Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything releasing in week 15 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2024 collection. Well, yes, guys, it's that time again, time to cover the weekly drop of Supreme's spring summer 2024 season. And this week is week 15. What we're going to be covering in the video is all the release details, all the individual pieces, my thoughts on the pieces and the week as a whole. And how we're going to cover all that is by using a Supreme community page. We'll head on over to that page now and we'll start covering the release details for week 15. So here we are at the Supreme Community page that we're going to be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out yourselves. Uh, but now we will cover the release details before diving into the individual categories. So the items releasing in week 15 will release on the 23rd of May 2024. They'll have an online release 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. 4 p.m. British Standard Time in the UK and 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time in the EU. Now, it'll also be dropping two days later on the 25th of May on the Saturday for Asia. Japan gets it in store and online. Uh, Shanghai will get it from my knowledge and Korea will get it from my knowledge in their in-store locations only though. Uh, if you have any further questions on when and where it is releasing, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best that I can. But now that I've covered the release details on when week, fe week 15 is releasing, we've got to find out what's releasing in week 15. So let's get into it. Let's start by covering the accessories that are releasing in week 15. <laughs> and what an interesting lineup of accessories we have. We have the Supreme Post-it Notes uh, for $14. That's expensive for some sticky paper. I mean, yeah, I would like it. But that's a lot of money for some paper. Anyway, moving forward, we have the Supreme Cave XL Tent. $1,500 for a camo tent. I just spent $900 getting my switchboard upgraded in my apartment. I'm not spending $1,500 when, when like, I just went through that cost. No way. I don't need this. I will happily spend that money on my mortgage instead of buying that. <laughs> but there might be someone out there that really needs that supreme tent. But for me, it's a down vote. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is a lot of fun. We have the supreme zero toucan lamp i actually really like this i like that the feet of the lamp is the feet of a toucan parrot we've then got the bird's body and eye here which is then used as the part that i guess holds the beak of the bird or in this case the light uh, I really like it. It's playful. It's fun. It's just that I don't have any like interior design um, that could kind of match with this. And it's it would just look so out of place in my apartment. But it's a very cool accessory. And I just want to give it a little bit of love because I think it's great. It just wouldn't work well in my, um, in my house. Now moving to the shoes this week. We have the Supreme Clark's Patent Leather Wallabies. That's crazy. <laughs> we have patent leather wallabies. I didn't I didn't think we'd see the day. And the one thing that I'm like kind of turned off about this is that the red and green one, they look like shoes that Santa's little elves would rock. And I can't get that vision out of my head. And it's just it's just too much like that they shouldn't have done that color option it's just too much the other colors i think it's a bit strange to have the supreme logo kind of just like there i think it would have looked a lot nicer on oh wait no it's on a hang tag isn't it it just blends so well together that you can barely see it Phew, thank god because i was gonna say it looks so weird just having it randomly placed there but the hang tags on the um pair of shoes is why there's just a random Supreme logo there. 
the black and cream ones are more acceptable but i actually think realistically the only pair that you could wear that would look slightly tasteful is the cream ones the black ones just black patent leather on a wallaby silhouette is just still too wild for me um but all in all i'm going to agree with the supreme community on this one i didn't think we need this it's going to be a down vote for me now looking at the shorts this week we have the over dyed small box logo sweat shorts coming in a variety of different colors uh, i think these would just be nice as some nice you know uh, sportswear i wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to wear this in an outfit but i could see this as just a nice pair of shorts to wear when you're going running playing basketball playing any kind of sports really yeah then we have the big script mesh shorts I think it looks disgusting. I think this looks hideous with the logo across the crotch and everything. I don't know why it's so favorited. I'm like, nah, that's just gross. To the pants, we have the denim painter pants. I think these are perfectly fine. I have no issues with them. Uh, the one with the repeated box logo or repeated Supreme logo all over it, not as much, but the lighter blue and the black color. I think they're perfectly fine. I think they're, yeah, I think they're okay. Up next, we have the bags releasing this week, and we've actually got a really cool design being showcased here, but it is a design that other brands have done well before Supreme, so it does kind of give me this feeling of like, yeah, are we just copying other brands here? But anyway, that's just my thoughts. <laughs> uh, we have the woven pieces we have the woven tote bag we have the woven uh shoulder bag and the woven utility bag uh look for me i wouldn't realistically wear any of these bags but i do think the woven tote bag is really cool i like its shape i like how it's designed on the outside so i will give them a thumbs up across the board because i think the bags are cool and they're designed well but i realistically wouldn't use them because i just don't carry enough around the place to um to actually justify using bags realistically and they if i was to get a bag that i wasn't going to use a lot but wear in outfits it would have to work aesthetically with a lot of the outfits that i wear and i feel like with these bags here that wouldn't be the case i would be buying these bags and i'd have to style around them but um that's just my thoughts maybe these bags will work really good for you guys but either way i do think they're really cool now moving into the hats, we have the bleached chino boonie. This looks horrendous. I don't know why it's not more downvoted than it is. No, just no. We've got the difference six panel. Nah, I, I don't know why this is really upvoted. I think this looks horrendous. And then we have the denim camp hat. And yeah, I think this is nice. You know, the, the solid colors are classics. The all over print design is not too bad as well, but I do like the solid colors more. Um, yeah, only one of the hats this week is really speaking to me. The other two, ugh. to the sweatshirts, we have the over dyed small box logo zip up hooded sweatshirt. And you can't fault it, right? It comes in some nice colors. Um, it's a simple piece. Just a little logo on the left breast that's about it i i don't think you can really hate that piece it's perfectly fine then moving into the jackets we have the denim chore trucker jacket i was a little bit confused on like denim chore trucker jacket because a denim chore jacket is a very different cut to this this is definitely more of a trucker jacket but i suppose the chore jacket part of it is, is that it's just got a lot of pockets to it i can see that we've got some pockets across the chest two down below at the waist there might be more on the front that i just can't really see because of the design but yeah kind of struggling to see the i guess the chore jacket element to this overall jacket but it looks really nice in this light blue color the washed out kind of black is quite nice the all over print is quite intense but i really like that wash of blue you don't see denim jackets in that kind of blue so yeah i'll definitely give it a thumbs up for that middle middle color especially but also because the black is quite nice as well to the tops slash sweaters we have the overprint 
striped short sleeve top. That is horrendous. I think that looks really disgusting, but I can't believe there's heaps of people that really like it. We then have the plaid knit short sleeve polo. Again, uh, like I can see the vision. I can see how you could style it, but I just think it looks horrendous. Uh, and then we have the printed paisley sweater. I actually really like it in the black and I thought I would like it in the white a lot more, but I'm thinking the white is just a bit, I don't know, the colors on it are not sitting well with me. While the black, I really like the use of the grays, the different colors to highlight all the different paisley designs and stuff like that. I really like that about it. So it was actually the black one to make me think, yeah, this is a nice piece. But that is week 15, guys. That is everything covered in this week. Um, honestly, not the best Supreme week that I've seen out of this whole season. <laughs> um, I think the highlights are the Toucan Lamp. I think the denim stuff is really good this week, like the jacket, the hat, and the pants. Uh, the small box logo stuff is cool. The woven bags are cool, but I wouldn't wear them. Uh, and the paisley sweater is cool, but we definitely got some really uh, trash items in here. <laughs> Looking at this item here, this item here, and definitely this item here. That's a no for me. And we won't even mention the Clark Wallabies as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, now that we've covered um, week 15, I want to hear how you feel about week 15, guys. Is it a hit for you? miss for you let me know how you feel about the week down in that comment section below and that's week 15 covered guys we covered the release details it's dropping the 23rd of may 2024 uh it'll be dropping on the 25th of may in asia we covered all the individual pieces my thoughts on the individual pieces and my thoughts on the week as a whole now i want to hear from you what are you picking up from week 15 are you going for the who can lamp the denim pieces or maybe you want the really expensive tent maybe so let me know what you're picking up from week 15 down in that comment section below and of course if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming supreme weekly releases upcoming supreme collaborations and drops you know what i'm gonna ask you for i'm gonna ask you for the three indicators i always ask you for which is a like on this video comment in that comment section down below and if you haven't already the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel now we are trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3860 subscribers before the end of may hopefully with your guys continuous support we'll be able to reach that milestone before the end of the month but that is everything i have to say and everything i have to add about week 15 guys i wish you the best of luck if you're going for something from week 15 hopefully you can pick it up in the size and color you are after but until the next drop list video until the next streetwear talk video until the next supreme video in general i'll catch you later